Ho, ho, ho! Merry Vlogmas! Let me show you why I live in Chicago. Right there. Every single morning, baby. And look at my little cash. I love you. You're such a good girl. I love you. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Griffin. It is Vlogmas Day 2. Holy buckets. Turns out Vlogmas is a little bit harder than I was anticipating, but that's okay. We got a big, exciting day. I think I'll take you along with me. What we're going to do first is have a little breakfast. Let's go ahead and pull out the Vitamix and let's get this thing going. I'll show you smoothie making 101 with yours truly, Griffin. I'm going to do some almond milk like that. Oh, maybe a little more. About a cup or so. I'm going to supplement that with a little water. Then an apple. Like, <laughs> bless you, Cash. Bless you. But what I've noticed is with circular things, it's a little bit hard. So what I like to do is I like to just break it up, throw it in. Now my favorite part, two bananas. Wee. You can tell I'm becoming a pro at this. <laughs> What about that? And those just go in here. And now, we're gonna put a little OJ in there. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Got some triple berry blend. It's natural, who would have thunk? <laughs> so we'll put a few of those in there, like that. Then we'll supplement the rest of it with, you guessed it, strawberries. Also natural. Go like that. Throw in a little bit of ice. That's it. Now we blend on this guy. Can you see right here? Okay. Now we get out our hospital cup, grab our smoothie, and here we go. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. So I don't normally have lunch. This is kind of my lunch and breakfast mixed together. And it, oh, it's awesome. And if you look right here, there's still a little bit left. So we'll get that later, which I'm pretty excited about. Just go like this. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a nice snack later. Awesome. One eternity later. Well, the day got away from me and unfortunately it is now <laughs> getting dark. So, I guess we'll do the shop tomorrow and we'll do what I was going to do tomorrow right now. All right, so what I had planned for, t Cashy. Cash, you wanna say hi to the people? Wanna say hi? No? Not interested? Not interested in saying hi to the people? Oh yeah, you good girl. Okay, okay. Back to what I was saying. So what I had planned for tomorrow was to show you one of the biggest eyesores in my apartment, something that needs to be handled like immediately. I can't stand it any longer. So without further ado, let me show you the worst part about this apartment. Bum, 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 bum. So as you can see, this is the corner of my kitchen and you know, for a while, this like leaning tower of table was fantastic. But the problem is, is with this kitchen, 
not much storage space. So what's happened is, is an amalgamation of everything going on right here. So what I think what we're gonna do during Vlogmas is we're gonna actually do my idea. What I wanted to do right here is see that the ceilings are about 10 feet high. So I'm gonna make a cabinet that extends all the way to there. And what it'll do is it will have the water cooler. It will be able to house the water bottles and the dog food and all the things over here, basically. Over here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's hop to the computer. A few moments later. All right, so we hopped on to the good old computer and we're in SketchUp. I believe it's the free version. It's an older version. I think SketchUp 2017. And I'm gonna go ahead and narrate this for you, kind of what I went ahead and did to make this uh, piece in SketchUp. So the first thing I'm doing is making both the floor and the wall of windows, which faces north. And right now you're seeing me make the east facing windows, which will actually be what the cabinet that we're gonna make sits against, which is pretty awesome. Now SketchUp's gonna be really weird here. Won't let me make the, the additional wall. So we're gonna tilt it. There we go. And now the wall is there. See that? That looks great. But the next step is what you're here for, and that's making the actual cabinet in 3D space, SketchUp space. So what I do first is grab the rectangle tool, and then I make just a random size a rectangle. And then I actually do this with pretty much, excuse me, all the polygons is I define it after I make it. You'll see right now it goes to, or there it is. <laughs> And then I extrude it up to about nine feet. And then after that, what I need to do is create the inner cavity. And there's a lot of ways to do this, but for me, I'm just gonna use the extrusion tool. So I go ahead and I do like the inner outline and then I extrude it back. And there you have it, the carcass is made. So the first things first, we need to set the top of what's going to be the bottom piece or the first shelf the first divider and that's going to be basically right above the water cooler and right here i'll make a rectangle and extrude it back now the divider is there but what are we going to do next probably the bottom dividers because that's probably the most important thing is getting this water cooler in there and it's only about 13 inches wide so as you're about to see that actually seems really narrow when you look at this model but hey measurements don't lie and sometimes computers when you're designing it's just it's just weird sometimes i'm telling you so the next thing is is i'm thinking i have all this space over here and all i really need is 11 inches on the left side for the bottles so now there's going to be three different areas in the middle piece will work great for basically you know the mop the broom the step ladder that type of thing so the final part to this section of designing is adding the extra shelves. Now I did put them at some measured lengths to fit the toaster oven and things like that, but basically they're going to have shelf pinholes. So all that stuff will be pretty variable when it comes down to it. But there you go, man, that looks pretty good. But guess what? There's more, that's right. We're gonna move it into its home, and from there, we're gonna place it, and of course, Sketch giving us a rough time, but don't worry, I'll get it right now. There you go. <laughs> and now you get to see it in the space, which I think, man, this is gonna be really massive, right? But it's gonna be freaking sweet. So the next part of this is probably one of the only really defining things that I'm gonna put into this model tonight is the spaces for the water bottles. I usually carry four on hand and they're only about 11 inches in diameter. So I'm going ahead and I'm measuring that. I'm placing some guidelines for them and then I make a rectangle and I extrude it back to the back of the piece and I do it again and again and again and again. <laughs> 
and that's right. <laughs> there it is, and it'll leave a little six inch space right there. That's awesome. So with that, the model is finished. Well, the first iteration of it, but I mean, this is what it's gonna be. I might add some doors. I might do something like that, but overall, this thing is designed. It's time to make it. Anyway, that's it. Back to you, Griffin. Well, that's it for Vlogmas day number two. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and believe me, I saved you a lot by not having to do all the client stuff. We'll actually go out to the shop tomorrow. I look forward to that. That's very exciting stuff. Get to show you the shop. I know I kind of teased it on day one and we didn't get there today thanks to client work. But we did get to design an awesome cabinet, which I'm excited to build with you during Vlogmas. It'll be like one of those accountability things where I say I'm going to do it, I designed it, and you hold me to it. How about that? So make sure that you subscribe, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you didn't like it, but you're still a nice person, go ahead and like it as well. And that's it for Vlogmas day number two. I'll see you tomorrow.